Hey guys, and welcome to River Raven Collects. Today we're looking at a figure from the Spawn Classic series. This was released in 2001, and this is a part of series 20. So I've unboxed two others in the line, but for this one today, this is Domina. Picked her up for $16, really good deal. However, she has been out of her box, so that's probably why the price is so low. You know, some pieces have been moved around and stuff, so I'm hoping that everything is here. That would be like, worst nightmare for me opening up a figure and then not have all the pieces but anyway like i said i had unboxed two in this series that being violator 3 which is a awesome figure one of my absolute favorites i think that it's a really good representation of violator and then of course we've unboxed spawn 4 as well now there's two different versions of him there's one that's called the censored version where he's just got his guns and his chains and then there's the one that I unboxed, the cool one, which is the spawn holding up the head. So anyway, without further ado, let's get Domino out of her box. All right, guys, we've got Domino here. I believe that's how it's pronounced. I think I was pronouncing it Dominica, and there's no K in that. So Domino is how I saw it pronounced in another video. So we're just gonna stick with that. I think that is correct. But anyway, like I said, this is the classic series, series 20, and I picked it up for just 16, down from 19, so pretty good deal. But uh, yeah, obviously we won't know if everything's there because if you have a look here, you can see that it's clearly been opened. So won't know until we open it, but I must say like, this is a figure that I probably wouldn't have picked up if I just hadn't have been there at the store and Sino there for such a low price. It's not really one that I've kind of considered picking up or anything, but you know, the classic series, the ones that I have unboxed at least have been really, really good. Whoops. <laughs> so there's the Violator 3. He's, yeah, one of my favorites. He is so cool. And we don't get many Violators that are like, a really good representation of what Violator looks like in the comics. So I'm super happy to have this one. And then we've got Spawn 4, which they never show the one with the head. And that's the one that I've unboxed and I really like that one as well. Domino's there. And then we've got Overt Kill. Uh, probably one that I won't pick up. Overt Kill, I don't think... Well, to me at least, I don't think he's... Like, he doesn't look that good to me. The ones that I have picked up of him, I really like, but just this version, and I know this is like the, what he looks like in the comics, but I don't know, I've just never really liked him. Medieval Spawn is one that, yeah, I badly want to get as well, but he is an expensive one, always around like a hundred bucks. So he would be really cool to unbox on the channel. Unfortunately, I probably won't pay that much though. And then we've got Clown as well. Probably another one I won't be picking up. So down here we've got some movie stuff. We've obviously got Terminator, Army of Darkness, a bunch of stuff. So all really cool. I've actually seen like a lot of these around. This Jaws one I actually did see the other day. Again, I've kind of got my hands full with like stuff that I am collecting now. So maybe one day when we're done with the spawn figures, uh, we'll start collecting some other stuff. And obviously we've got Metallica and obviously sports stuff. So let me know if anybody collects this sports stuff. Like uh, the figures look really good, but I'm not a sports guy. So I haven't picked any of those up. But anyway, that is the box. So you can see that the box, considering that it has been opened, is actually in pretty good condition. So that's nice. And I'll comment about this as well. Um, if anybody is selling secondhand stuff with a sticker, please, please do this tape. Like, put that on there underneath so that it doesn't leave a mark. Particularly, these ones don't really matter because they've already been unboxed. But if they haven't been unboxed, like, please do that so that it doesn't leave a dirty mark on the front. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's get her open. All right, guys. So I thought we'd take a quick look at the back here because it's got a full shot of Domina. And yeah, it looks really cool. So I can't 
remember that from the other ones. I mean, maybe I'll go back and check my videos, but that might be in there. I'm just gonna grab the camera here and show you guys. So there's the full back and yeah, I just think it looks really cool. Obviously you don't really see it with the figure in there. So yeah, anyway, let's get her out of her packaging here. So like I said, she has been opened. So yeah, some of her stuff is not where it's supposed to be, but there she is. And I must say, I'm pretty impressed by how she looks. Um, you know, considering she's second hand and also a figure that I didn't really think about picking up, I'm thinking she actually looks pretty good here. So here's her dagger, and obviously, yeah, that fell out of the packet. But yeah, I mean, not over the moon with all the detail, but not bad. We've also got this ring. Now this goes on her wrists and while she's holding her sword they won't fall off but if she's not holding it they do. Up first we'll take a look at her shield so that's that there. I assume it's her shield I'm not really sure what it's meant to be but anyway and then we'll have a look at the sword. Whoa <laughs> I almost lost it. So there's that and again not so much detail but it all does look really good so there we go but uh, yeah on to the main event so here she is so yeah like I said she is looking actually really good um, she is considerably smaller than the other figures so that's probably going to be a problem but besides that whoops I didn't realize it looked like that behind there but her hair looks good if we have a look up there but yeah you know not the biggest fan of figures like this but she'll be displayed from the front so yeah um, not sure why that's like not covered up or anything but yeah anyway so I'm gonna attempt to put it together here and I'm sorry this is a little bit out of shot but yeah essentially that just clips on like so if I can get it on there so yeah not too much pressure um, yeah slides on quite well and those bracelets on that other wrist aren't gonna fall off so that's good but yeah, this will be the troublesome one because this doesn't actually come apart. So we've actually got to kind of slide it into our hand forcefully. Now I did work out some way of doing this. And what I did was I pushed the bottom of the sword like into her hand and just slowly kept pushing it through until it was in. Now I, I unfortunately do this off camera because yeah, it was being painful, but that's how I did it. And there we go, light magic, uh, her hand is now holding it. So yeah, it is kind of easy, but um, also you want to be careful that you don't break anything because um, yeah, it was a bit of a hassle to do it. But yeah, not too much of a hassle though, but yeah, just something to be aware of if you do pick this one up. So she's got quite a bit of articulation in that arm and she's got none in the shoulders and then some of the head here so we've got a couple of joints on the arm but they're not like articulated like bull joints also I noticed that her belt goes around the other way so her butt is actually covered up which is kind of good and then yeah we've got just that bit at the uh, bicep that like turns and then that's kind of it on that arm so yeah, kind of interesting choices that they've chosen with this one. So essentially it would only have like, what, six or seven points of articulation. We do have some of the legs, but like, you know, the deal with these figures by now, you can't really adjust them to how you want. They are meant to stay as a, you know, solid statue. So essentially that's what she's like. She does have some trouble standing up. But um, if you can get her into the right spot and have that sword leaning uh, towards her, it kind of balances out the weight. But it is slightly annoying. A stand would have been good. But anyway, guys, I'll leave you with the showcase and be back with my final thoughts.
All right, guys, that has been our look at Domina. I am actually surprisingly impressed with this one. Uh, I think that the sculpt is really good on her. Like, she is a smaller model, but they've managed to get quite a bit of detail in there, which is really cool. Well, saying about her being a smaller model, obviously, compared to Violator and Spawn, she looks very small. So I do wish she was a little bit bigger, but maybe it's like accurate uh, to the comics. I'm not sure. I assume that it probably is though. But uh, that aside, yeah, she's got pretty good detail all over her. The one thing that I'm not too happy about is the way that they painted like the cloth piece. They did a dry brush on it, which I don't know why you would do that. Considering it's like cloth, it all should be one color. I don't know why they did a dry brush. However, we've got some like amazing printing on the bottom of this, which is, yeah, really good. She doesn't have like that many details, but what they've got here, they've really worked with it and just made it come out like really good. So another problem is she doesn't want to stand up very well. A stand would have been really nice for this figure, but you know, they kind of weren't doing stands in the early 2000s, so. But uh, yeah, she doesn't like to stand up, but if you get her in the right position, you gotta have this sword like out the front so that the weight is in the front. So she's pushing down on this front leg, which is the bigger one. But um, yeah, I am actually, yeah, really impressed by her, like I said, but uh, I think, you know, articulation wise, she doesn't have much, N none of the figures that I've unboxed from this, that series do really. However, um, I wish she wasn't looking down because uh, they've done a nice face sculpt, so it would be nice to have her looking up, but yeah, I mean, I guess that's just how she is, but yeah, overall, really impressed with this one, and like I said, this wasn't a figure that I had planned to get, uh, she just happened to be there the day that I got Goddess Lyra and Mr. Obersmith and Jessica Priest. So I am really glad that I picked her up for $16, I think, you know, well worth the money and she's going to look great with the rest of these guys that are in her series. Uh, even if she is a bit small and, you know, kind of looking down and stuff. The way that I'm going to position her is kind of have her like up a little bit. So I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'll, I'll put her up like a little bit so that I can kind of see like her looking down and make her look a little bit better, a little bit nicer. But yeah, I'm thoroughly impressed by this one. But anyway, guys, you let me know what you think of her down in the comments. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave me a like. That'd really help me out. And of course, if you're new here, do subscribe. I'm trying to get to... 1000 by the end of the year. We don't have many months left, but with your guys' help, I can definitely get there. So yeah, leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you on the next one.